everyone, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for today. I'm going to take you through the whole thing. Um, there's going to be a focus on abs and booty today. So while booty, thighs, lower body, the very first exercise I'm doing is a squat thrust deadlift. Um, so for this exercise, I'm going to use my barbell, but you could also use hand weights. You can use a kettlebell or you can do it with your body weight. So for this exercise, you're going to squat down sticking your butt out behind you, place your hands on the floor, jump back to a plank position, just like you do in a burpee, but we're not going to do the push-up for this one. Jump your feet back forward, then you're going to grab your bell or your two weights or your kettlebell, whatever you are using. Chest stays lifted, butt stays reaching back, toes are in front of your knees, knees are behind your toes. Lift, squeeze your glutes nice and tight. You can actually narrow your stance a little bit. Reach backward with your butt. Keep that chest lifted. That's one. Hands go down. You can jump your feet back, forward, and do it again. Keep your feet a little bit narrower. That's two. When you do your plank, make sure that you're keeping your core tight. That's three. And your form correct. Core pulls in tight, body is firm, jump. That's four. Five. That was sick. It's tough to get a good shot on you in this one. <laughs> Seven. I'm getting gambit Our, in the shot. Our room is too small and my bar is too big. Yeah. That was eight. Nine. Reach backward with your butt, chest stays lifted. Is that ten? Yes. Eleven. Hard at work, Gambit. Hard at work. Twelve. Keep that chest up. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. I'm going to back up a little. I keep moving forward. <laughs> Eighteen. Only two more to go. These working you're pretty good? Yeah, I definitely feel it in my thighs. Yeah? Yeah. In your thighs? Yeah. Where at in your thighs? My quads. Oh, okay. I wasn't being smart. Eighteen. Nineteen. Last one. Twenty. Good job. Okay, next exercise. Whew. Shake out those legs. <laughs> <laughs> next up is elbow strike cross punch. Mm. Elbow strike cross punch. Okay, so for this exercise, you're going to use your arms and your legs. Hands can fist, like you're going to fight somebody. But instead of using fists, we're using elbows. <laughs> so it's going to be right elbow to left knee, and then switch. 
That's one rep. Two, three, four, five. Keep your core tight so your back is protected. Six. Also, if you have any type of back issue, you can slow it down and just bring it across and over. You don't have to do it so fast. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, I like to wind up, twenty. Next exercise. Man, am I glad I wasn't being smart about that last <laughs> exercise. One leg squat press. Okay, for this exercise, I'm just going to grab some light dumbbells. Um, I think these weigh three pounds. So for this exercise, what you're going to do is you're going to bend your right knee, hands come to your shoulders, and then you're going to squat down and reach up. And you want to bring your standing leg let me turn this way so you can actually see. Your standing leg, you want your butt to reach backwards and come as close to parallel as you can. You should feel the weight in your standing heel and you should feel right under here, right under the bottom of your glutes working really hard. So that was one. Two. Three. Reach that butt back. Four, and this is an easier variation of one leg squat or a pistol squat. Five, six, make sure that weight's in your heel. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. Looks like it challenges your balance too. 12, it does. Your tush looks good when you do this. 13, thank you. <laughs> 14, 15. Make sure you breathe. 16, only four more on this leg. 17. 18, 19, last one on the side, 20, same thing on the other side. So right leg stands this time, left leg lifts, core pulls in tight, hands come back to your shoulders, and here we go. One, whoops, I'm losing my balance on the side. I'd fall so many times doing that. Two. Three. Focus on the weight being in that heel and your butt reaching back. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, only six more, thirteen, fourteen, let me find my balance, fifteen, five more. 16, 17, 18, reach those arms but try and keep those shoulders relaxed, 19, last one, 20, <laughs> next exercise, butt lift, okay so I'm going to use my stability ball for this one, fairly self-explanatory, butt lift, 
If you don't have a stability ball, you could do super amps. Um, so, what you're going to do is place the ball down on the floor, put it underneath your hips and lower to mid stomach. Hands reach in place on the floor, but you're not putting your weight on them, they're just for balance. And you are going to lift one. So, nice extension, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, halfway done, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, two more, 19, 20. Next exercise. Next up is jump rope. Okay. So this you're going to do for a minute. Um, you want me to time you? That would be excellent <laughs> if I could make this go away. You have no idea how bad I wanted to whistle and <laughs> roll out my tongue during that last exercise. <laughs> like the cartoon dog. <laughs> okay, here we go. Whenever you start, I'll start timing. Here we go. You could do high knees jump roping, traditional jump roping like I'm doing now. You could do one leg. You could do the other leg. You can alternate. As long as you're moving for one full minute, I don't care how you do it. Just you just want to get your heart rate pumping and keep going the entire time. If you don't have a jump rope, you can also substitute high knees for this exercise. And that's basically running in place, making sure you get your knees at least hip level. Make sure you breathe. <laughs> Ten seconds. How many? Ten. And minute. Okay. Good job. Next exercise. Next round starts with pop squat. Okay, so this you can do two ways. I'm going to do it the seated way. So let me move this. Um, and I'm going to sit on this bench. You can sit on a chair, um, whatever you have handy. What you're going to do is sit with your legs together and then you're going to press through your heels, come up, jump your feet out, jump them back together, and sit. That's one. Two, three. The other variation is to do the same exact exercise, but without anything to sit on. Which, if you're good at going down and making sure your thighs are parallel, your butt is reaching backwards, chest is lifted, then that's fine to do it without something. I just don't want any of this. Knees in front of toes, um, arching your back, tailbone tucked under. That's bad form, you could get hurt. So. That's why if you're starting out, it can be helpful to sit because then your butt has to reach backwards for something. Weight is more likely to come up in your heels. I think that's like four, five, six, seven. And you can even just tap your butt down like I'm doing. Ten, instead of sitting all the way down. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Next up is leg lift abs. Okay. Get out your mat for this one. For this exercise, you're going to lift both legs together. Lay down on your back. Core pulls in tight. Support your back. Work those transverse abs. Chest lifts, shoulders relax, 
arms reach up above your head, legs extend, and you're going to lift and lower. Don't let your heels tap, touch the ground, and try and focus on pulling that belly button in toward the floor. Here we go. That's one. Two. And you can lift your shoulder blades, pretend like your bra strap can touch the floor. Will do. Five. Or the middle of your back if you are a guy. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Halfway done. Eleven. Make sure you breathe. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Keep this course tight. Sixteen. Lower back's touching the floor. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Next exercise. Bicycle. Okay, so from this position, hands are going to clasp and go behind your head. You're not pulling on your neck, they're just there for support and to keep your elbows positioned correctly. You want to try and keep your elbows spread wide apart. Try not to let them come in like this. That way you get the full range of motion. Again, core pulls in, press that belly button towards the floor, and alternate right knee to left elbow. And the other elbow should be reaching toward that corner of the mat. That's one. Right and left. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Pull the core in. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Next exercise. Spider-Man plank. Okay. So for this one, you're going to come into your plank position. Hands are going to be directly below your shoulders. Core, again, is going to pull in tight. Always support your back. Go into your push-up position. You're going to lift your left leg and bring it toward your left elbow. And then same thing on the other side. That's one. Two, three, four, keep that back supported, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, four more, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20, stretch it out, next exercise, chest pressed, sit up, okay, Your shoulders okay? Yeah, it was, uh, my core got tight. <laughs> Which, of course, we're going to work again right now. <laughs> um, so, for this exercise, again, your belly button pulls in toward the floor, activating those transverse abs that help pull your stomach in tight. Lift your shoulders, hands clasp behind your head, legs extend, and you're going to lift your chest and your ribcage up toward the ceiling. It's not a big movement, just a little bit. You can actually pretend like you can just roll 
the very top rib over your stomach just a little bit. So it's just a small motion. Okay, but your legs stay lifted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, guys, that's it. That's one round of today's workout. I'm really sweaty. Um, check my blog for the workout breakdown. How many times I go through rounds, number of reps, entire breakdown listed will be there, plus over 250 other free workouts, recipes, tips for healthy living, information about running, all kinds of fitness fun. So check it out, benderfitness.com, all free. And I will see you there. Have a great night.